بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم میں اسلام علیکم پاکستان ویلکم بیک ٹو کاپر گورننس اینڈ وی کنٹینیو ود لسٹڈ کمپنیز اینڈ دا ویریس ٹپولیشنز آف دی سیکورٹیز ایکسچینج کمیشن آف پاکستان ریلیٹڈ ٹو دیم وی بین ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ دا بورڈ وی بین ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ دی ڈائریکٹرز آف لسٹڈ کمپنیز اینڈ ٹوڈے وی گوئن ٹاک اباؤٹ انادر ویری امپورٹنٹ ایریا وچ از کالڈ دی اپائنٹمنٹ اینڈ ریموول آف کی افیشلس ناؤ وین وی آر ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ کی افیشلس دین اگین we are talking about the chief executive officer we are talking about the chief financial officer and we are talking about the other chief officers which could be chief technology officer chief information officer chief human resource officer and uh, uh, chief marketing officer and many many more so again the board is basically involved uh, with the appointment terms and conditions and employability of all of these chief officers and especially the chief executive officer who is the most important official uh, within a listed uh, organization uh, and also the very important posts are of uh, the company secretary and the head of internal audit uh, of a company uh, these are very important because they are the eyes and ears you know, of the board and again they act as a buffer or a barrier uh, between the management and the board and they have to ensure that the integrity of the particular company and also uh, ensure that the chief executive officer does not go beyond the stipulations uh, mentioned uh, in his job description or uh, those mentioned within the authority of implementation and execution. We look at the appointment and removal of uh, both of these posts, which is done with the board of directors. And also we see that the removal of head of internal order should also be made uh, with the approval of the board. So the chief executive officer cannot remove them. And that basically gives them the independence by which they can execute their jobs and responsibility without uh, any fear of repercussions or of a reprisal by the CEO. The removal of the head of internal uh, auditor shall also be made upon by the chairman of the audit committee. The chief financial officer should at least have five years of experience handling financial and corporate affairs of listed companies. And it would be much better that it is 10 years plus. But again, this is the minimum stipulation. And it's very important that the chief financial officer should have handled similar organizations uh, in uh, the best and most prudent way so that there can be no financial bunglings uh, later on uh, within that particular organization. The CFO can be a member of the recognized body of professional auditors. And again, the internal audit uh, head should have at least five years of experience and can also be a member of different professional auditors. And it is mandatory upon the CFO and company secretary to attend all company meetings. So what we see is, is that uh, based upon uh, this particular dimension, the CFO and the company secretary are extremely pivotal in the operations of the particular organization. And when we combine the CFO, the company secretary, and the head of internal audit, then they are the very backbone and the window for the board so that the key management or the chief officers uh, do not tend to go beyond their responsibilities uh, and they play their role in the best possible way. And these three have to ensure that the company also follows the different stipulations uh, of the laws uh, and rules and regulations of the land. And they become the uh, eyes and ears of the board so that the board can then have a strategic overview of what is happening within the organization. Thank you so much.